<laughs> we have to deal with the road today. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're back. Last last time we had this <laughs> discussion, we were uh, we're Jay eat, eating. Jay eating. <laughs> what was it titled? It should have been Jay eating. No, it was uh, I'm uh, Jay talks. No, no, it was uh, you competing. Was it you can? No, but no. I, I thought it was titled something. Oh, you can't eat, eat, eat clean at uh, Cheesecake no, Factory. No, I know, but there was a thing on the corner. I don't know if it said Jay Eating or something. Or oh, I don't know. I didn't see that. Jay Eat. So, all right, so we're back from the Arnold. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of talk about that show. My prediction was wrong. <laughs> Samson won and Nick did not. He got second. Andrew Jack looked amazing. Sean Clarita looked amazing. Rami looked amazing. He looked good, huh? Hakeem looked amazing. All these guys, Justin, everyone, these guys looked good. Patrick Moore had great for him to come back. I mean, man, it was a stellar lineup. I think it was probably one of the best lineups that we've seen. They were all in, in a shape. Long time. Yeah. The top, the top five, um, just because you know that was kind of the comparison. The top mm -hmm. four, unbelievable. Rami improved a lot, man. He did. You were right. Yeah. So it must have been like a timing thing at the Olympia or something, you know? I mean, honestly, I mean, if Rami won, I don't think people would really... I don't think so. Like, he was improved that much, and, and his legs, though, his legs were a little overwhelming yeah. in size. So big. But yeah. I want to talk about this today. Um, but we're trying to break the weather in Las Vegas right now. We have our good and bads. This has been the most rainy season ever, and I hate to complain because I know a lot of you guys out there have <laughs> a lot worse weather. I just looked at Boston. It was 40, so today's 70 in Vegas. Beautiful. We have beautiful sun. Um, I had a scheduled trip to California, and I delayed it because of the rain. It was raining extreme out there, and, uh, you know, I hit up Dave this morning and said, hey, let's... Uh, <laughs> We've been trying to get some walking in, so yeah, we're gonna hit it this morning. And uh, Capone, are you ready for a walk? You ready to go for walks? <laughs> look, at, walks. look at his ears. <laughs> Come on, let's go for walks. All right, we're gonna do a walk right now. Jay walking. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, so yeah, so we uh, just came back. And uh, today is daylight savings, which I had no idea it was. Oh. Did you know that last night going to bed? Or? Uh, I forgot. But yeah, the phone no one, changed it by itself. Yeah, no one ever, um, no one told me about it. So this is probably the first year we didn't, I didn't realize. For some reason, I thought it was in April every year. Huh. But we're in a different time, which is good, because that means it gets dark super late now. Yeah. Um, I love that. Instead of super early. And uh, like I said, I'm uh Probably gonna head to California for a couple days. Try to maybe shoot some content out there, get some training in, and uh, see what's happening on that side. You ever miss it, or um, not missing it too much? I, I still go back here and there. I'm going uh, next week, so yeah, not enough though. <laughs> this would be usually uh, the week after. I mean, people would be migrating in and out. Of golds for uh, yeah the, after the Arnold Classic, right? Yeah, I so, loved yeah yeah. I loved so that I know there's a lot of online talk about you know thoughts or whatever else, but I'm just going to say on camera, the top three could have gone anyway, in my opinion. I mean, I obviously had you know predicted Nick, and I thought Nick could have won it. Could have thought Samson looked incredible. I thought Andrew made a huge impact, huge improvements. Uh, yeah. You know, from the judges' top talk, it's Nick didn't appear as as full round as maybe the Olympia, which he says you know he was better. I talked to him yesterday, and uh, I understand that. And I and I told him like you know, there's a lot of shows that I won or lost. I mean, obviously I lost a lot to to Ronnie, where I thought I challenged a little more than what people's eyes saw. Um, and obviously you're always gonna be, hey, I thought I could have or should have won, right? We all have our reasons why, but I feel Nick is constantly improving. I think his shape has tr improved tremendously. He was the, the front runner going into the contest. You know, didn't go his way. Obviously missed out on a huge payday and 
you know, finished second, but to an unbelievable Samson. I mean, that was huge for him. I mean, he's massive. I mean, yeah. Milo said he weighed around 290. Obviously, he's a little taller. But is this the threat of the taller guys coming in now with him and Andrew Jack, who really, you know, people question he could have won or been second, third, or whatever. Yeah. But like I said, Rami, he improved. And I know people counted him out, and, you know, the big question mark was, like, can he win it back? And I still think there's a chance he could win it back, honestly, if he figured it out. But he has to be motivated himself. He has to believe. And I believe that, you know, he can if he just looks past all this. And he's looking for his friend. Yeah. <laughs> he's not there today. <laughs> and I believe that. I, I think he's a little disappointed, to be honest. You know, speaking to him backstage. and Yeah. You know, a little tough for him because, you know, he's like, what do I have to do to improve him? Right. Place better, you know, now yeah. he's got guys beating him that he doesn't feel should beat him. Yeah. So I uh, I feel for him, but, you know, I've been kicked out enough times where I kept coming back. And, you know, Andrew, Andrew didn't have the overall overwhelming wow factor that he had in the earlier shows and I think because he was in such great condition standing next to you know those guys remember it's a different lineup so yeah. you can say well so and so place at the Olympia so I got past them and now you know I'm in this position that's not true though you know that mm -hmm. it showed a show that can change dramatically um, but if I could say anything and I did mention this to to Nick is you know you got to work with your strengths yeah, and his strengths is definitely out muscling people. Unfortunately, he's not going to overly shape a Samson or a Derek Lunsford. Or Derek Lunsford could have probably came in. I think he probably would have won this contest if he was there. Obviously, Hottie too, but you know it's a little more difficult for him. But you know, I respect Derek's decision to sit it out, and you know he's really honed it on the Olympia, either either solidify position or challenge Hottie. I think it's going to be really hard for everyone to challenge Hadi. Mm -hmm. You know, looking at the Olympia, we haven't seen Hadi come in off necessarily. Although people question, you know, maybe, you know, 2020 or whatever. He was a little off from 19 or whatever. But still, he, he just has that rock hard look. It's going to be really hard to, for people to come up and challenge him with him being the title holder. And, you know, we'll see. I mean, Derek is definitely... Uh, a contender for that you know if he improves the legs a little bit you know get some fuller pecs and you know remember that extra fullness is going to give him more condition from the front which was kind of the knock on him last year even though he was tremendous i mean from the backside, he smoked everybody you know uh he's so dangerous up there because his shape is just so crazy mm -hmm. in the proportions uh so, and he's so young too he's just yeah you know. i mean he's still he's still in the early years and if he paces himself correctly, he can make a nice run at this title, carry it, and and get out and move on to bigger and better things. I mean, I think that's the end end goal with with all bodybuilding. Like, you know, you still have to look at the Olympia as a big stepping stone, a platform. And you know, I, I don't know if I ever, you know, I was taking advantage of the platform prior to, you know, winning. You know, even when I was second, you knew how much I was doing and yeah. investing and. Yeah. Always thinking about the exit strategy. So my goal, just so you guys know, is, you know, I was always zoned in on, I want to be able to retire from this, right? Meaning, like, I don't want to continue to keep going further and further and, <laughs> and you know, eventually have to go, you know, punch a clock or work for someone else. Not to say that I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't uh, do that. I mean, I've done it all in the past. But I always wanted to develop. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to own. I wanted to dictate my time. And I think that's... It's something I've always said to you. Okay? And, uh, you know, you being, you know, the media. You know, the JTV media. And, you know, shooting stuff. I think, you know, you've kind of created your own entity, right? That you can be, pretty much dictate your time. And that's mm -hmm. the coolest thing in the world. Because yeah. I said to you... You know, you had the best, best life ever. You could just go out and do things in the middle of the day. Yep. And not be on someone else's time. Yep. Is there anything better than that? No. 
So that's <laughs> why, like, all these youngsters now with YouTube and social media, like, it's encouraging to see all these kids chasing their dreams and trying to develop this platform that they can, you know, do whatever, whether it's clothing or supplements or social media or brand deals or, you know, creating whatever it is, they can all, you know, use that yeah. as as kind of the, the entrepreneurship. And that's, I encourage that. You know, some of the older people that follow our channel, you know, you have careers, you have family, you have commitments, you have a lot of things that, you know, you're so far in life, but it's never too late to to have a word or be able to encourage people or, you know, social media. You know, if you haven't adapted to accepting Instagram or TikTok or even YouTube or whatever it is, I know a lot of us use Facebook, right? Facebook's still a huge platform for me. Yep. As you see, a lot of the, the work I'm putting out there now is educational. So what I want to do is kind of dictate how I was able to be successful, obviously, in my training and my nutrition. You know, and I throw some business things out there. And, you know, I just don't want to, you know, create this whole uh, this whole persona like I knew it all. Because to be honest, it was a lot of trial and error that it went through for me to get to to where I did. And my formulas may not be the exact formulas for someone else. Who did you learn the most from as far as business, would you say, when you were young? Um, my brother is my father. Mm. And then... Uh, Acido? For sure. Bit. Chris Acido, yes. Chris Acido, I have to give a huge credit to. Uh, my friend Bruce Vartanian, who mm. mentored me in the beginning. Ed Connors. Mm. Uh, Joe Weider. So mentor. you had some good role model. Yeah, yeah. I mean... There's a lot of great people that, you know, have given me an opportunity. You know, on my financial team, Steve Kisson, um, nice. you know, Andrew Whalen, who handles a lot of my financial stuff now. Like all these people. That's awesome. Or Corey Kaplan, who's my attorney. There's so many great, great people around me that continue to give me influence, you know. Bernie Scalpa, I mean... The list goes on and on. And yeah. It's been a great opportunity to, uh, you know, be influenced by people that have had success or have knowledge of what they do to pass that over. Yeah. And, uh, but I would definitely say Chris did teach me a lot because that was the mail order stuff in the very beginning. And, uh, you know, I was struggling, as you know, it wasn't always easy. Yeah. He, he got you young and that's, uh, that's important because you started the right way, right? So. Yeah, and, and, you know, he was for me competing at those Arnolds. And be truthful, like, if you ask me what what gave me the most financial or notoriety success, it was probably those Arnold Classics, man. That was a lot of money. Like, a lot of money in the cars. And it just, I found myself at a great time in my life where, you know, I was migrating to, to Vegas. And I think if I would have stayed in California, I think I would have been as successful, but... It definitely gave me a more advantage being in Vegas. And you remember, I mean, even though I was sitting here some some years and I would be like, you know, what's going on out in California? And I miss kind of being around the, you know, because what, what would happen is, you know, I would go, you remember, I would like, as we get deeper into the career, I'd spend a lot of time in Venice yep. because I have my place in Marina. Yeah. So I was going back and forth, but I would spend more time there. And then once I get, I zoned in on the contest... I would stay here and I would train. Yeah. And he, this is even before I moved there probably more than ever. But, and I'd always ask what's, but I, and I'd say the gyms are just so blah here. I know. Here. I know. So it, after a few weeks and months of training for, remember I'd take four months and train, it was just blah. We yeah. didn't have social media. We didn't see what was going on. Yeah. I mean, it was just mostly the boards and the forums then. And those were some of the best times, by the way. <laughs> and uh, that would, you know, so I'd always kind of miss. Yep. The I'd action. Miss that, I, yeah. I'd miss the action. So, you know, I understand we were just having a discussion off camera and I was talking about, you know, the best vibes in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Today's not really a jaywalking because he keeps stopping. He's, <laughs> he's sniffing everything right yeah, it's now. It's beautiful so weather. His, his girlfriend, or I call the sister. So Daisy's <laughs> actually in New Jersey right now because Angie's... <laughs> And he's there for her niece's birthday, so it's he and I right now. Just kind of hanging <laughs> <There's> out. Just the boys. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, this the, I, we were just saying how 
what's the best vibe in Vegas. Yeah. And you're you're always trying to chase the Gold's Gym. I am. Aura. Yeah. I mean, I've trained there for so many years, dude. I mean, I've been there. So I moved to Venice. I moved to California in 93. And then I spent like a few months in Venice when I first got there. And then I moved around. But then when I moved closer, I, I trained at Gold's for maybe like what, five, six, five, six years straight, maybe longer. And uh, it was the best of time, dude, before the quarantine. It was the best of time. I think you would still get some of that vibe if you spent a little time there. I feel like it's getting a little busier now. You think? Yeah, I think it's it's getting busy, so you'd have... I mean, if you if you were there a couple of days a week, I bet you'd tell me, oh, yeah, the vibe is... It's just good to see, you know, certain people in and out. I know it's kind of changed, and there's kind of probably a yeah. big crowd there. Uh, but... It's, that, it's got that aura, that gym. That's, yeah, what, yeah, that's what it is. It's it just... Is. You, so many champions have trained there, and so people, so many people have re, realized their dream uh, in that place. You kind of feel that energy. It's it's hard to explain. You know, I mean, you know, because you've been there, and but uh, yeah, so it's a special building for sure. And I think if they ever moved it, it wouldn't be the same. So I hope they stay there because the fact that it's right by the ocean, like you said, the doors are open and. The crazy it's, part is, is supposedly Google bought the building, right? And they were talking about like kicking Gold's Gym out. Do you remember all that yes, talk? Yes, I remember. And then Arnold supposedly saved the day, right? I remember. And they haven't seemed to have that discussion lately. I don't know if there's been like a lease for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Or whatever else. But as you notice, like there hasn't really, no discussion has been brought forward yeah. about it. And they put a lot of money uh, this past year renovating. You know how yeah. different it looks now. It's a lot of money in there. So hopefully it's not going anywhere. It's very spread out though inside. Yeah, I don't know why. They should get more stuff. It's like it looks empty a little bit because they put so many uh, equipments outside. Yeah. They should. I think they, for a while they were debating. But I'll tell if you, some of those days do training outside and. Uh, it's great. You know that ocean air. Yeah, it's great. I kind of miss like, you know having the front parking lot when you park. I know. It is a little hard, harder to find a parking <laughs> spot. <laughs> Because we get a little nose sticking out there. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's because uh, the back parking lot too, directly in the back, is like a cardio area now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. If you notice that? Yep. It's a whole lot of uh, spots uh, gone to park. Yeah. Yeah. So were the judges right at the Arnold Classic? Is the question. You know what about Clarita though? Yeah, he, he looked, looked great. Good, right? He looked great. I thought he would fare better, to be honest. So did I. But I can see when they compared them, the size difference was just a lot. Yeah. Dude, these guys are monsters. Yeah, look at these Look at the thing. Uh-oh. He's going to go nuts. He's going to go nuts. Yeah. He's, he's pulling. He's pulling. <laughs> he has to go and like, just be the tough guy, you know? <laughs> That's a big dog. Come on, come on, come on. He doesn't care. Come on, come on. I'll take him. Come on, come on. Come on. He, what would happen if there was no fence? Uh, he reminds me of Derek Farnsworth when he acts like this. <laughs> doesn't know he's small. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, so... I mean, or Sean Clarity, we just talked about that. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he did, you know, I just thought, I mean, I remember they were kind of predicting Nick and he would be first and second, you know. But, yeah. But Andrew showed up spot on. I mean, we'll see how that continues to work out for him. And, you know, can Samson push position and be one of the top two of the Olympia is the question. I know he has confidence now that he, he will, you know. Yeah. But we'll have to see. It's a long time away. <laughs> a lot of shows in between now. And these guys are making crazy amount of progress in very few yeah. amount of months. It's crazy. How... Yeah, bodybuilding is pretty exciting right now. Yeah. So if you guys haven't been following along, make sure you guys check out that coverage with the Arnold Classic, man. It was, uh, it was a great show. Yep. I had a great time. A lot of great fans out there. Thank you guys for waiting so much. You know, we had a long long lineup. Ronnie and I were able to spend some time together, yeah? which was great. Was it good? And congratulations to Flex Wheeler, too. He received the lifetime. Achievement. Yeah. I got to ride the plane with Flex on the way out. So oh, yeah? We connected. Um, 
I left Vegas and went through, I think, Denver, and he was there. Yeah. Oh, whatever. okay. So, so we got to ride on the plane. And, awesome. Uh, and we got to chat up a little bit and stuff. It was good to catch up with him. That's great. Talking about some of the old times. And yeah. And what's new in his life and everything like that. But it was awesome. But he was uh, pretty emotional in that. And he deserved it, man. Like. Yeah, for sure. He was a huge inspiration. All of us remember, remember seeing him training at gold. Great champion. Yeah. Yeah. He was something to see back then when he was at his prime. Oh, man. So this is a good way to kick off the week. Uh, make sure you guys um, check out any of the coverage. Make sure you guys comment below. And uh, we'll see you back at the next Jaywalk, guys. All right. Appreciate you. All right. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go Cersei on you. I flipped the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Because I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut me?